For many people, pine needles can be a nuisance, but our next guest will show us how you can turn the ground cover into a beautiful work of art. Native American artist Don Many Feathers of Eden joins us this afternoon, and this is just amazes me, Don. You can take these pine needles and turn them into baskets, jewelry, hair pieces. Yes. Wow. And how they're very sturdy, too. They are. They yeah. are. I never would have imagined that. So tell me about how you do it. I mean, how, tell me about this process. Well, it's a it's a, actually a simple process. First, we have to take the pine needles, which these are, are North Carolina longleaf pine. Oh, okay, okay. The, the local Lablali pine needles can be used also. So, what are the what um, materials do we need? The pine, we obviously, need the pine needles. The pine needles. Mm -hmm. We need water for um, softening the pine needles so that they'll bend and not break. Right. We also need uh, sinew or a sewing together medium. You can actually sew these coils together. Okay, so. It's, yeah. it, it's a coiling technique. Okay. Um, I have artificial sinew here in various colors. There's white, black, natural, and blue that I brought today. These two colors you can get from the local Michaels. Okay. It's not that hard to find sinew. Okay, and obviously a needle. Yes. Okay. I use, uh, for my classes, I use a size 18 to 20 gauge uh, tapestry needle. All right, so show us where we start. And one thing that's optional is a coiling gauge. Oh, okay, yeah. If you're going to make something large, like a barrette or a basket, you want to keep the coils even. So this very expensive uh, coiling gauge can be found at McDonald's. <laughs> it's a McDonald's straw. Oh, okay. You cut it in about one inch lengths. Mm -hmm. My husband makes me copper gauges. Right out of copper um, tubing, okay. which, I, which I use a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, so okay. what we're going to do is we're gonna start a basket by first tempering our needles. All right. Um, you can put these in the microwave in a plastic bag for a, a few seconds um, until your room smells really good. Oh, okay. And then just leave them till they cool down. Mm -hmm. Dump the excess water off. And when you can bend them so they don't break, uh -huh then they're ready to go. Okay. Then you take the end off. All right. Meaning like these ends right here. Yes. Take them off, okay. The, the hard ends. You, some pine needle artists leave them on, but uh, for, for the beginner, it's better to take them off. Okay, so you're gathering them all together. You gather them in a bundle. You can gather enough to fill your gauge if you wish, or if you're going to make something smaller, like a, um, this is for an earring. Mm -hmm. This only takes three of the needles okay. to make an earring. All right. Um, you gather them together, you take your sinew, and you wrap until you wrap all the way to the end. And where's my end piece here? Okay. okay. Oh, here it is. There we go. <laughs> you wrap it all the way till you get to the end. Mm -hmm. You anchor it by taking your needle and running it through. Uh -huh. And then you can start to coil. These are dry, so I'm not going to try it. They should be wet when you do that. You, you coil them up into a circle, uh -huh. and you begin to stitch. Okay. You stitch through it, and you begin to stitch. This is made with raffia. Raffia can be used as a stitching medium, okay. but I don't prefer that. All right, and we're looking at some items that you can make on the screen here. Obviously, you can add different things to them. So yes. I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and try to stitch this here, and you, it's just like. It's, you just bring it around and, and put it down through? Yes. Okay. Trapping the coil as you go. Because what you're doing is just stitching them together. Yes. I gotcha. Row by row. Very easy. How long does it normally take you to make one of these or one of the for, items? For the earrings, it takes me about one to two hours for each earring. Okay. Because I do the, the beading on the outside. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, for the barrettes, these can take six to eight hours. It all depends on what size and uh, what's good on TV. Right. If I'm watching WBOC, <laughs> then, then you know it takes me longer. It takes you longer, but if it's not a good show. <laughs> if it's not, then I'm paying attention to the needlework. This piece is 10 years old. This is my personal barrette. Oh, okay. And now, you're actually teaching a class on this. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, next Monday. Uh-huh in uh, Princess Anne mm -hmm. at the library. Right. I will be teaching a uh, beginner's pine needle basket class. 
which actually I'm teaching the coiling technique. You can use um, grass, you can use corn husk, you can use anything to make these, not just pine needles, wow. once you learn the technique. Yeah, and it's an easy technique. I've been sitting here stitching away. <laughs> it's from one to three. It's free to the public. Uh huh. Um, and the class size is limited to 20 uh, people. So you wanna go ahead and sign up for that. And you can call the number 410-651. 0852 if you'd like to uh, learn more about that class. I think I got it. You're doing really good. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. This is something I'd never heard of but would love to try and have and thank you so much for showing us today this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Well still to come, start your engines. Brian's going to show us the custom work they do at Dorchester Auto in Cambridge on golf carts. Plus the story behind how the business got started. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.